Hello everybody, uh, you are with Adele. Uh, I am uh, today here to speak to you uh, about the uh, problem of uh, uh, thyroid nodules uh, and give you seven natural ways to manage symptoms of thyroid disease. The, the disease of thyroid and gives you the remedies. So in this video I speak with you what are thyroid nodules signs and symptoms of thyroid nodules, thyroid nodules causes and risk factors, and I give you seven natural remedies, eight natural med remedies for symptoms of thyroid disease. Thyroid nodules are the most common disorder involving the endocrine system, but when you feel a lump in your throat or it's detected during routine physical exam, it's normal to feel worried. Although thyroid nodule may seem cry about 90-95% of them are not cancerous growth that develop in other ways normal thyroid gland. But in some causes, this nodule's ways cause thyroid problem and compressive symptoms that affect the way you eat and speak, and 5 until 10% of thyroid nodules turn out to malign. So, how do you know when to worry about thyroid nodules? And if it's not thyroid cancers, what's causing this lump in your thorax? So, Follow this video and I give you the explication and the remedies. First out of all, I will speak with you about what are thyroid nodules. Thyroid nodules are a growth that develop within the thyroid gland, which is located in your throat, just behind your Adam apple. One, when thyroid tissue growth Abnormally, it's created a nodule or lump. Thyroid nodules can occur as a single lump or as multiple nodules, and they can be solid or fluid filled. Thyroid nodules are actually quite common, affecting up 55% of the general population. The estimated annual incidence of thyroid nodules in the United States is approximately 0.1%, which is equal to about 10% lifetime probability of developing one. According to research published in GAMA, most thyroid nodules are beginning and clinically insignificant but about 10% of nodules harbor a clinically significant cancer, 5% cause compressive symptoms, and 5% progress to a functional disease. So, what is the signs and the symptoms of the thyroid nodules? This is the second point what I speak with you today in this video. The development of the thyroid nodules symptoms is not common. In fact, Nodules are usually found incidentally when other imaging studies are performed and not because a patient and any signs. But some people with thyroid nodules around 11-20% experience, experience that cold compressive symptoms, which can include the following signs. First of one is neck fullness. Sometimes thyroid nodules can be felt when examining the neck, the neck and the thyroid, and even seen which is from swelling at the base of the neck. Dysphagia, dysphagia or difficulty swallowing, may be symptoms associated with the thyroid nodule because the lump is causing a sense of mass in the oophages or is impeding the normal passage of food. This can cause pain while swallowing. Being unable to swallow 
or having a sensation of food being track in the throat. The next point is odinophagia. This is a medical term used for when you swallowing cause pain in your mouth, throat, or ophage. Ophage because large thyroid nodules are creating pressure in the thorax and the neck. It can be painful in these areas. The next point is choking. Because a large of soaring thyroid nodules make it difficult to swallow, they can load to shocking. The last point, this dyspnea, dyspnea or difficulty breathing and the shortness of breath may occur with a large thyroid nodules. Sometimes a nodule, a thyroid nodules can use the body to produce additional thyroxine, which is a hormone of secret by the thyroid gland. This may lead to symptoms of hyperthyroidism, including nervousness, anxiety, sleep troubles, rising heart, inexplicable weight loss, excessive sweating, and muscle weakness. These symptoms can occur in a body in a both beginning, a beginning and the malign thyroid nodules, so they not indicate an increased risk of thyroid cancer. Researchers found that thyroid nodules size and the lobe size are directly correlated with compressive symptoms. So, let us tol talk you about thyroid nodules causes and the risk factors. Thyroid nodules are very common and there are several conditions that can cause them to develop in your thyroid gland, including the following points. First one, iodine deficiency. Low iodine levels are associated with an increased risk of developing goiters or an enlarged thyroid gland. Second one, Hashimoto's disease. Hashimoto disease causes inflammation of the thyroid gland and can cause the thyroid gland to become enlarged. This disorder results from the underproduction of thyroid hormone and can lead to the gradual destruction of the thyroid gland itself. Next point, overgrowth of the thyroid tissue. Sometimes there are overgrowth of normal thyroid tissue with is called a thyroid adenoma. It's unclear why it happens but it can lead to lumps in the thyroid gland and the overproduction of thyroid hormones. Next point, thyroid kist. A fluid filled kist can be developed in the thyroid which may be the result of abnormal thyroid tissue growth these kisses are often a mix of solid and fluid components and are usually benign. Sometimes, however, solid component in a crest can be malign. Thyroid guater, next point. A guater, an abnormal enlargement of the thyroid gland that causes a blood in the neck. This can occur when there is an overproduction or underproduction of the thyroid hormones. The last point, thyroid cancer. Most thyroid nodules are burning and are caused by the other factors, but sometimes a nodule is caused by cancerous cells in the thyroid. If a nodule is hard, large and painful, there is a greater risk of malignancy. So now, how are some facts about the risk factors associated with the thyroid nodules? They are four times more common in a woman than men. Increasing nodule size 
and the new development of related to hormone change of both estrogen in a pregnant woman. Their frequency increase with age. They are linked to low iodine intake. Expose, exposure to ionization radiation, which can happen in a children or due to occupational exposure. So let me uh, talk you about <coughs> the essential points of this video, the natural remedies of symptoms of nodule thyroid disease. First of, of this remedies, avoid iodine deficiency. It's well known that iodine statue in the K determinate of the thyroid disorder, iodine deficiency, and cause hypothyroidism and the greater because the mineral help to convert and release thyroid hormones. Thyroid disorder that are caused by low iodine level can cause heart complications, sluggish metabolism, weight fluctuations, and mood changes. There are a few ways to avoid iodine deficiency with the most important step being eating iodine rich foods like seaweed wild caught caught organic yogurts raw milk and eggs iodine supplements are also available and when take in a low doses can help the normalize the production of the thyroid hormones but only use iodine supplements under the care of your doctors and make sure you are being monitored for side effects. High dose of iodine can actually aggravate thyroid disorder symptoms. The second point is eat food high in selenium, zinc and B vitamins. To improve symptoms, some, symptoms of thyroid diseases, make sure you are getting enough selenium, zinc, and B vitamins in your diet. These nutrients are needed for people thyroid function and will help to balance your thyroid hormones level. Did you know what the thyroid is the organ with the large contain of the selenium? The mineral is needed for the conversion of hormone T4 and T3. Some of the best selenium food that can be added to your diet to improve thyroid functions included Brazil nuts, sunflower seeds, pinto beans, halibut, grass food beef, wild coat salmon and ungrit oats. Food high in zinc and B vitamins, especially vitamin uh, 12 are also important for thyroid health. These included lamb, grass fed beef, cashews, spinach, chicken, eggs, mushrooms, chickpeas, and asparagus. The third remedy is avoid inflammatory foods. One possible cause of thyroid nodules are other problems related to the thyroid gland in inflammation. Inflammation can actually slow down the conversion and the production of your thyroid hormones. For these reasons, it's important to avoid inflammatory foods that will only make these issues worse. That means staying away from processed foods foods with added sugars and other possible trigger foods like those containing gluten. In fact, research show that the relevance to thyroid disease is high in patients with celiac disease. So far, these people avoid gluten in mandatory. The fourth 
Remedies reduce stress living. Research show that both physical and mental stress can cause changes to your child hormonal levels. To keep the endocrine gland from becoming overloaded with can cause damage to the body by suppressing human function, immune function and alerting, altering the function of your adrenaline and thyroid glands. It's important to manage such a level and get no rest. You can do this by trying natural stress relievers, such as ex exercising, getting seven an hour of sleep per night, putting time aside in your day to do something fun and relaxing and jogging a fight a community or sportive group. The next remedies try ashwagandha. Ashwagandha, an adaptogen herb and the traditional medicine in Ayurveda, is often used for thyroid dysfunctions. You can take 600 mg of ashwagandha extract daily for 8 weeks and can improve the T4 levels and improve significantly uh, all the good characteristics of thyroid. Other adaptogen herbs that can be used to improve symptoms are some symptoms of your thyroid disease, especially hypothyroidism, include holy basil, ginseng, and licorice roots. The sixth point, take probiotic. Probiotic is good. New research has linked hypothyroidism to distort of the small intestine like SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. Researchers found that overgrowth of certain, of certain bacteria can increase the risk of thyroid dysfunction. In fact, it was reported that SIBO may be present in more than half of patients with hypothyroidism. Take probiotic supplements and adding probiotic foods to your diet can help to balance the good and the bad bacteria in your gut, potentially improve your thyroid function. The last point is reduce toxic, toxic reduce Toxic exposures. Exposure to chemical toxins can cause inflammatory reaction that hinder proper thyroid function. Certain medicaments, hormonal birth control pills, and commercial booty or cleaning products should be avoided when possible. It's also worth mentioning that heavy metals like mercury and amalgam feeling can disrupt disrupt hormone balance, which is a way it may be helpful to see a holistic dentist and remove silver, silver fillings. Thank you for following my video. I, uh, I have hope for you a nice day. Thank you for your interesting of my work. Have a nice day. See you later. Bye bye.